Jamie, i mātaki rānei koe i te whutuporo i nga pō. Oh, yes, of course I did, Ewa. <laughs> e, pe heo uh, whakaaro? <laughs> oh, just, you know, for me, just seeing uh, Richie McCaw, that tribute that they did for him at the end of it, um, you know, and that the team were able to, to play as well as they did for him. I mean, it's just, you know, the coolest thing is, is being in Australia <laughs> and hammering them because we were in taxis all day yesterday, obviously out at the stadium with a whole lot of Australian supporters that were giving us, you know, they were giving it to us. Uh, after the result from last week. But um, I just hope that the girls can do it um, this afternoon. Willie, who, who stood out for you? Last night, oh, well, I mean, I thought it was, it was a great game. And, I mean, the, the whole team stood out. They, they came through in the end. We always knew they were going to come through at Eden Park. Uh, but it was fantastic watching McCall play well. Carter, of, of course, went well, and he needed to because yeah. he, uh, he hasn't been going well, but he was always going to go well at, at, at Eden Park. But for Māori, I mean, we all love Nehe Milner Scudder, don't we? I mean, well, we've, got, we've got three Māori players in that yeah. starting lineup. We've got Aaron Smith, Dane Coles, Nehe Milner Scudder. Actually, we've got four and Richie McCall. Richie McCall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the, you know, those, the Māori players are actually the standout players. You've got Dane Coles played magnificent oh. last night, and Nehe Milner Scudder's just the out and out star of the side. Well, isn't well he? Nehe's a certainty now to go to the World Cup. He's just got such brilliant skill, you know, and uh, fabulous to, to watch, you know, watch him because he epitomises all the Māori skill that mm. we know. You know, he's the ultimate in terms of Māori flair. Beautiful to watch that, uh, that young fella. And, uh, you know, and Ma, and Ma Nonu, um, of course, was outstanding. Yeah. He really uh, made a change too, I thought. What's that, Jamie? Yeah. Well, I was just going to say, the only, the only problem is, is with uh, Nehe Milne Skata playing so well, he's going to oust another Māori boy in Corey James, um, yeah. probably from that World Cup squad. But, you know, again, he, I think of him and Kayla Cullen in the same... Uh, instance in that they both look so comfortable on the international stage mm. and even though they've got a, mm. a black jersey or a black dress on and you know there's a whole lot of expectation and pressure that comes with it they both just take it in their stride and look like that's the level that they're supposed to be playing in. And Jamie you talk about uh, Corey Jane maybe missing out on the World Cup what about our mate Liam Messam how's he how's oh. he faring you think? Yeah I think he's a little a little low our bro um, just uh, hanging out with him a couple of nights ago um, and, you know, I mean, this is the second test that he's been left out of, and obviously there's a push at the moment with Victor Vito being able to cover and lock as well. So I, I don't know. I mean, I'd love to see the brother go because he missed out on the last one, eh? Mm. He missed out on um, the last one. He's very unlucky, Liam. Yeah. Very unlucky yeah. because he's a tremendous player. He's been the form number six for the last three years, and mm. he should go, and, and, he, and he may well go still because they might just take three locks and use Kano as a, as a cover for all. For lock. Well, he should yeah. go because if there's any little, you know, fracas or a little tr bit of trouble on the yeah. field, well, he, he, can, he can run on with his with his beanie and his water jersey no, no, no. like he did last night no, and break he, it all up. He, but he, well, he's an extra security guard, but I, I, I don't like it that they've got different rules for different players. Mm. Kano's been playing uh, rubbish actually, mm. and Liam, Liam, and, and you know, and Liam's uh, had a reasonably good game against mm. South Africa. He misses one tackle. All the critics come after him, and, and he is so fit. He is so good. He deserves to go. Victor played great mm. last night, but what about the last three years? Mm. Yeah. No it's thing, okay. Though, eh? okay, it's Jamie, a thing, though, It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you've been playing. You know, it's, yeah, it's the same thing about sport. Anyway, I know Jamie, you're trying to kick give us, give us your prediction uh, for this afternoon, my friend. Yeah, I'm going to go Silver Ferns by seven. Whoa, big call, Willie. Diamonds by seven. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong, but you know. And Jamie, you can... Jamie uh, I saw your little clip on Facebook. No more singing the national anthem yeah. on the on the train, sir, so in the buses. Thank well, you. Jamie knows more about rugby than that boys we've heard today. Then I'm going to. I'm going to. Kia ora, kia ora, Jamie. Kia ora, te mata ki a te pone. Kia ora.